I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. At my primary LARP I attend, I play a character who wears a cloak that's supposed to be hooded and hood's supposed to be up all the time. The only problem is, anytime I run, there's a big gust of wind, I'm in combat, this hood is all over the place. And it really screws up the aesthetic of the costume and it's a pain in the ass to have to keep adjusting it and stuff. So I know that some people, they'll wear like little clips and stuff to their hair or you know other sort of things that they'll do to try to make that hood stay in place, maybe starch it, um, and just lots of tricks. But I came up with an idea that I think is going to be fantastic and if you wear a hooded cloak and you like to keep the hood up, if you're tired of having to constantly adjust it, I think this video might be for you. Now obviously if you're doing something historically accurate, you know, period, whatever, this probably isn't going to work for you. However, maybe it would um, because it's going to be pretty well concealed. And really the answer is as simple as an old baseball hat. Uh, now this is an old hat, I use it to work out in and stuff, but it's black. My cloak is obviously black uh, because I play a rogue. So what my idea is, is to take this hat and cut the brim either completely off or down to make just a little cap and then attach it inside of the hood. That way when you pull the hood up, this actually will keep it up and in place all the time or at least be as sturdy as if you were wearing a baseball cap now these do blow off in the wind sometimes but it's a lot less likely for something like this to blow down than for your hood to blow down so that's the idea so we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this down and then uh, put our hood up over it and I think what I'm gonna do initially is I'm gonna spray some super 77 on it uh, which is a glue adhesive to hold it into place so I know exactly where the hood's going to sit. Let that dry and then I'm going to go ahead and run just a line of stitches around this thing or maybe throw a couple of hand stitches in and I think that that's going to really fix the problem. Now uh, the cloak that I'm using here is a uh, Epic Armory cloak. It's one of their like cheap ones that they sell and uh, it had strings on it as well, but I'm pretty aggressive with uh, not tying this. I actually tie it to my armor, so they actually ripped out. So what I'm going to do is on the back of this cloak also sew a small channel that runs right along the neckline and then run a piece of 550 paracord through there that's black so that I can actually um, have a much stronger tie off for this for when I tie it to my armor and then I'll show you exactly how I wear this cloak uh, with my armor when I'm all done and we'll see if this hat idea of mine is going to work out or not. Uh, hopefully this is a video that you can find useful and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right now. Okay so the first step is going to be to cut uh, the brim off this hat. Now I already tried this on with the cloak and I think it would work with the full brim. Now they sell a uh, smaller brimmed version of baseball hats. If you can find one of those, that may be perfect for you. But if you don't have one of those, you can always cut this brim. Uh, inside of here is usually plastic, uh, if it's a good hat. Um, if it's not, it might be cardboard. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, there's a couple of seam lines on here, and I'm gonna make it have a very small brim, so I'm gonna cut about right there. So this way when you wear this, if the edge of the hood comes out over, it'll stick the edge of the hood out a little bit from your head, but not a whole lot. And then we'll just glue the hood down over that. And if you aren't sure what I'm saying, you'll see in a minute when we get to that point. Now is it possible to cut through this with scissors? Uh, yes, but I'm using shears instead because it's going to make it much easier to do this. Tin snips, whatever you want to call them. And this doesn't have to look good. Nobody's ever going to see this part of it. So just cut it and try to keep it, you know, approximately in line with the other side. And 
All right, yeah. If you've never, never even seen the inside of a brim, that's it. It's like a hard plastic. So then we have our sort of small, small brim baseball cap here. Also, for you post-apocalyptic people, something to think about. All right, and so now I'm wearing the cloak along with the baseball hat underneath and then along with this. And you can see if we end up affixing this right along that small brim of the baseball cap, this is basically how this hood is always going to ride on here. And even if it's really windy, this thing's not gonna wanna blow off, you know, or at least as often anyway. So like I said, the next step is going to be taking, I'm gonna spray the adhesive onto the hat put the hat on, I'm going to adjust the hood to exactly where I want it to sit on here and then sort of like push it down. Now you don't want to push it down around the brim and stuff because you don't want it to take on the mold of the hat so it looks weird but you do want to push it down in enough areas where it's going to hold the shape you want it to and stay where you want it to be. If you want this to be pointy this would also be a good time to take some stuffing and stuff it up in there between the hat and this and then that way this will always be at a point as well when you wear it. That's a decision you'll have to make. If you're using a hood that has a long tail or something on it, you may very well want to stuff it at that point in time so that it's always sort of, you know, full. But I leave that decision up to you for your costume. Let's go ahead and get this glued together. Okay, so I have this baseball cap sewn in here, so now my hood will pretty much always stay like this. I sewed this string around the outside of the actual cloak and then attach these little clips. And I'll show you how I clip these onto my armor in just a minute. That way, my cloak is always attached to the armor and uh, all I have to do is throw the hood up and now that hood will always stay on there, at least for the most part. I'm wearing my armor now. I went ahead and just put it on now. I've already gone to my event, so I've already tested out this cloak with the hat inside so I know that it works. I can tell you that it worked great. So if you play a game where you would find it okay to sew a baseball cap inside of your hood, I definitely suggest doing this trick. It worked fantastic for me. I was running around the battlefield, wind blowing in my face, all kinds of things. It never came off, not even once. Fantastic. So let me show you how I actually wear mine. So this is my cloak. Obviously, you saw me sew the hat into it, so we know all about that. But how I actually wear it with this armor, and I told you that I was going to, you know, fix this, and I did fix it, and I just used these clasp. So I have two ways I can attach. I can attach it to my armor, or I actually take these and I run them down through my armor and attach them to my belt loops, which works great. So basically, it's a really simple setup. I just take and throw this around me. So I have it on like this. Take these and I just feed them down through my armor. So this is all actually concealed. You don't see any of these uh, modern sort of clasp at all. It's all completely concealed. Okay. And then from there, I want my pauldrons to be visible. So I take the actual cloak and I sort of bunch it up so that it's like this. So it's almost more like a cape you can see how it just sort of rides on my back like that. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally took a strum on it. And then from there, that's pretty much it. And if I want to put up my hood then, I have the cap inside, which fits on perfect. And that's it. Spin again. <laughs> so, I hope that you found this video useful. If you have a hood, like I said, the baseball cap, I don't know why I didn't think of this years ago. Fantastic idea. Sew one in there. This hood's not coming off. 
works great. If you have a little short cloak like this, maybe uh, doing the way I suggested, where you run these down through, connect them in a belt loop, might be helpful for you, I hope it is. But let you have this look without tugging on your armor and pulling it up into your throat because it keeps it attached to your pants. Now, if you don't wear pants or if you don't have belt loops, you can attach it to a belt or anything you have down there. And if you don't have anything going on as a last resort, you could attach it right to the armor with just, you know, put like a hook in it and attach it. But make sure you use a light fabric if you're going to do that because if not, all this weight is just going to pull backwards on this armor, which is going to make this armor raise up and it's going to be very uncomfortable. So, if you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, comment, share, and be sure to let all your friends know about my channel. And of course, as always, adventure on.